hello people. You greedy eat hoy. <laughs> Not anymore. Just call me Rob. Yeah. Talk about losing your identity. Mm. Getting out of, getting an identity crisis. <clears throat> so, why did I choose the name Spencerian? Spencerian for my channel name. Actually, I had that channel name quite a while ago and what I wanted to do was make a separate channel on calligraphy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm not a fairy. I'm not gay. I just like calligraphy, man. And, okay, what's what's the deal with Spencerian? What is, what is that? Spencerian is a type of calligraphy, a type of handwriting. Um, actually, it's, it's, it's actually a type of handwriting, not a type of calligraphy, but it turned out to be that way. It's a very, and lots of embellishments in the handwriting, very fancy, very beautiful, and that's what it's called. And you know, I might be wrong, I'm not the total expert at this, but here's how Here's how handwriting uh, started. Well, at least uh, Western handwriting, English handwriting. Started off with the feather or the plume. And what they would do would be they would, the feather is like a straw, and they would cut the tip in such a way that when they dip the feather in ink or in goose gall, you know, the gall of a goose, which was black. The, the black gall or the ink would go inside the feather and they would write on parchment and, um, or skin, you know, which is, um, what do you call it, cowhide. So, eventually the feathers would wear out and they would have to retrim the tip. They'd have to get their pocket knife or whatever and retrim the tip so that it could uh, write nice, sharp, crisp lines. Well, eventually somebody figured out a replacement for the, the feather, which was the nib, spelled N-I-B. And they found the, they replaced it with a, the, the nib would be steel, and it would last a lot longer than feather. Feather which was, you know, organic and it, you know, it just, it was just much softer than a steel nib. So, the nib would be mounted onto a shaft and so it would mimic the feather and they would dip the pen in ink and then they would write a few words and then dip it again, write some more, dip it again, write some more and that lasted for quite a while, the steel nib. Um, say, uh, depending on how much you wrote, you know, it, it lasts at least over a year. It, it lasts quite a long time. So, what Spencerian did was, uh, this guy named, I'm sorry, what Pratt, the, the founder of Spencerian writing was Pratt Spencer. And what he found was, there was a lot of chaos in the alphabet, you know, depending on who taught who taught how to write, um, they would have a lot of variations in handwriting and the way letters were formed. So he decided, hey man, enough of this. I'm going to standardize it so that everybody that learns handwriting, you know, that writes the ABCs, writes it a certain way so that there wouldn't be any confusion or too much variation and and you know that's what he did and his contribution was standardizing writing and his handwriting was very very beautiful it was known um, there's like there's been stories where you know he was challenged like hey you know who do you think you are 
you know you're just a you're just a farmer and what he did was he pulled a reed of grass and he, he, he cut his finger to draw blood and he used that piece of grass and wrote something with it you know used that piece of grass and blood and wrote something with it and his handwriting was so beautiful that uh, the person challenging him um, you know didn't complain anymore anyway that's kind of like a kind of like a folk tale or a legendary kind of thing anyway um so what happened to the dip pen was somebody decided to add a straw to the back of the pen and eventually it was hooked up to a big reservoir of ink so that you wouldn't have to keep dipping the pen in ink and then what evolved from that is the fountain pen somebody decided to encapsulate the whole pen back and hold a quantity of ink you know to last a to to make it portable to make to make pens portable you could take the pen wherever you went so that you could write with it so from the fountain pen um, I guess the invention next following that was the ballpoint the ballpoint pen now there was between that and the ballpoint there was a great deal lost between the fountain pen and the ballpoint because the ballpoint doesn't have a third dimension to writing you see what the ballpoint does is it writes on paper in two dimensions but what the fountain pen does is it changes the width of the line based on the pressure you push so the harder you push the harder you write the wider your line would be the lighter you push the lighter the thinner the line would be but not the case with the ballpoint it, it's just it's called a mono line so anyway um, the reason why Spencerian handwriting is so beautiful is because the thicknesses vary uh, in, in, the, in the letters Okay, so anyway, I, I just like Spencerian handwriting and, you know, I'm no expert at it. Um, I, in fact, I'm just an amateur um, and, but I just like it, you know, and I haven't written for years. I haven't played with, um, you know, a dip pen for years and I'm prob I probably really suck. And, you know, Pat Spencer would just shake his head at my handwriting, but, um, yeah. I like I like Spencerian.